Hello, and welcome to Corby's Book Club, where I tell you about books that I've read that I think you might enjoy. She was a book nerd, she had blonde hair. In a bit of a departure, this episode features a book called The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. Why is this a departure? Well, I usually don't read science fiction novels about Jesuit missionaries who travel to a planet light years away on a retrofitted asteroid. Ugh. But in its way, it's a serious book. And even though it's not literature in the sense of Faulkner or Austin, its ambitious subject and imaginative treatment makes it worth the read. In 2019, the SETI program at the Arizabo, Arizabo Observatory in Puerto Rico captures a series of transmissions which are shortly determined to be incontrovertible evidence of life in the not-too-distant Alpha Centauri star system. The story's main protagonist, Father Emilio Sandoz, conspires to put together a team of friends and colleagues and secures funding from his organization, the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, to send a mission to this planet for the greater glory of God. The Sparrow tells the story of the consequences of that decision, both to Sandoz personally to his friends and to this new species on an alien planet light years away. But despite the interstellar setting, this book is a serious attempt to explore the consequences of faith. For some of you guys, that might not be an interesting subject, but the effort and occasional success of smart, science-minded people to find a spiritual life that's both genuine and intellectually consistent is a subject that's always been interesting to me. Structurally, the novel follows two tracks. Half the story takes place in 2060. Father Sandoz returns to Earth broken physically and emotionally and without any of the friends with whom he originally set out. <clears throat> Mysteriously, his hands are shredded beyond the point of utility. He's beaten and bruised and can barely speak, but eventually he recounts his experience on this alien planet through a series of interviews. The other track follows this same young man as a priest in the mid-90s as he and his friends come to terms with this opportunity of visiting an alien planet. It's a creative approach to storytelling and one that I haven't seen before. You know at the beginning of the story that the mission ended in complete disaster, but it takes the whole of the book to tell you what and why. Fun. I feel like I should say that while reading, I happen to find an interview at the back of the book with the author, Mary Doria Russell. I enjoyed the interview more than I liked the main story. Russell herself had an unusual experience with religion. She grew up Catholic, abandoned it to 20 years of satisfied atheism. And then when she had her first child, her desire to impart some of her sense of culture to her son led her to eventually convert to Judaism. That's not usually what happens. So her perspective is unique and her metaphor, the sparrow, which comes from Matthew chapter 10, verse 29, is, as you find out in the last chapter of the book, perfect. The word of the week is sang froid, which means composure or coolness under trying circumstances. Let's use it in a sentence. Though all of his shows for that month were suddenly canceled, he found it important to maintain a certain sang froid and so turned his attention to making videos about books he liked for Instagram. That's all for this episode of Corby's Book Club. Remember, music keeps you young but reading keeps you sharp. She was a book nerd, she had blonde hair, with a paper bag in her back pocket.